I was recently asked about opening your windows before a tornado to equalize the pressure between the outside and inside of your home, allegedly to reduce damage. And this is a question I thought I'd ask you. So let's make this official. Should you open your windows before a tornado to equalize the pressure between the outside and inside of your home? To lock in your answer, make sure to say yes or no to the person you're watching this with. Okay, there's really nothing to lock in and there's no cash or prizes, but I want you to make a good decision. So let's talk first about the logic behind this. The idea is that opening your windows equalizes the pressure. And if you watched a previous Hey Ray experiment, we put marshmallows in a container and removed the air. This dropped the pressure inside the jar, causing the marshmallows to expand because the air trapped inside the marshmallows was trying to fill up the empty space created by vacuuming out the air. The idea behind opening your windows is allegedly to prevent your house from expanding like the marshmallow, since tornadoes are intense areas of low pressure. This might sound like there's some science to back up the idea of opening your windows. And knowing this, I'm going to give you the opportunity to change your answer if you want to. Should you open your windows before a tornado to equalize the pressure? Yes or no? If you answered yes, you're absolutely wrong. If a tornado hits your house, it's going to be damaged whether or not the windows are open. The tornado's wind is what causes the damage, not the pressure difference between the inside of your home and the pressure inside the tornado. While it may look like homes explode by looking at the damage, I can assure you it's the violent tornadic winds that carve that path of destruction. While you're trying to minimize damage, opening windows can lead to additional damage. The windows could provide an extra barrier of protection, even though you don't want to be near them during the storm. The windows also prevent rain from blowing inside your home, and you definitely don't want to deal with water damage. Instead of wasting valuable time opening up windows before a tornado, you should use that time getting to the safest place. And the safest place during a tornado? The lowest level of your home in an interior room with as many walls between you and the storm as possible. Reporting from home, I'm meteorologist Ray Petlin.